Projecting the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kix 96 and WHON Video News with Jeff Lane. Welcome to Kix 96 and WHON Video News. It's Friday, April the 4th. I'm Jeff Lane. It's been quite a while now since Don Holbrook, who led Wayne County's EDC, has been gone. Holbrook was fired as CEO under a swirl of controversy that included an $8,000 desk and an apparently non-existent dairy company. Ever wondered what happened to him? Holbrook is still working in economic development and is now in Arizona. Yesterday, Holbrook looked back on his time in Wayne County. Holbrook pointed lots of fingers yesterday and made some other accusations. Open meeting violations and things like that and kind of insider dealing is just never going to be something you can do. And a lot of that stuff, quite frankly, was going on in Richmond. You know, there were a lot of people who were trying to do what the, you know because they were great people and, and people thought they were great people. That doesn't give you a free ticket to get special favors. Holbrook said that he's put Wayne County behind him and does not care what happens here. We'll have more on what Holbrook is doing now on Monday. A Richmond man has been arrested for selling heroin out of the Country Club Apartments on South 23rd. A search was conducted yesterday at the apartment of 38-year-old Larry Shaw after numerous complaints from neighbors. Members of the Wayne County Drug Task Force had purchased heroin as part of the investigation. They also found crack cocaine. Shaw was taken to the Wayne County Jail and now faces between 20 and 50 years in prison. The task force made another arrest yesterday. 40-year-old Mark Laswell of Eaton was arrested for possession of marijuana and a controlled substance. Richmond residents may remember Laswell as a member of the 1985 state runner-up Richmond High School basketball team. A fairly routine traffic stop led to a significant marijuana bust on I-70 in Wayne County yesterday. Officer Scott Owens of the Criminal Interdiction Unit indicated that an eastbound car was stopped at the 142 mile marker at around 3.15 yesterday afternoon. That's near the Washington Road overpass. Inside the vehicle were two California men. Suspicions led to a search and inside the rental car, investigators found almost six and a half pounds of high-grade British Columbian marijuana. It's the same kind of high-grade pot that was found on 70 in Wayne County earlier this year. Investigators say it has a street value as high as $7,000 a pound, making yesterday's bust worth as much as $45,000. The two suspects were taken to the Wayne County Jail and are being held on $7,500 bonds. And a group of juveniles thought to be responsible for a rash of recent car fires in Richmond. Fire investigators say there have been three car arsons in the last three weeks. The most recent occurred early yesterday morning in the 300 block of Southwest H Street. A van there sustained about $3,000 in damage. Two other car arsons have occurred in the last couple of months. Officials consider all five to be connected. This has been Kicks 96 and WHO and Video News. I'm Jeff Lane. Have a great day. Leading the Whitewater Valley into the future of how you get news. The best coverage in the Whitewater Valley from the best news source. Kicks 96 and WHO and Video News with Jeff Lane.